Welcome back to the channel guys, we're loving Marvel Snap right now and as a beginner that just hit infinite rank within the first week of me playing I have the top 5 decks that you guys need to build so you can rank up really quickly, defeat your opponents Number 1 is gonna be my favorite deck, you're gonna love that deck the most, it won me my infinite rank in such a small amount of time, it was amazing to play but let's jump right in guys and show you guys the top 5 decks, we'll begin with the big hand deck all right guys, here we are. We have the big hand deck. Obviously, our, it's gonna have some series two cards, but mostly it's gonna be series one. And what it, what you're trying to do is, once obviously you played seven days, you're gonna have this Magneto. What you're trying to do is you're trying to fill up your hand and gain some value from it. Uh, collector is insane, it's really good. It's not necessary, but it's really good. Uh, it's another option instead of playing the Medusa, you can get the collector. She, he's gonna get usually to number five very easily, very consistently. And it makes sense with Asian 13, so then another series 2 card, uh, but you should give, get that as early as possible. Besides that, there's no other series 2 cards, guys. Everything else is series 1. White Queen gives you an extra card, uh, Cable gives you an extra card, Sentinel gives you an extra card, and Ant-Man and, uh, is really there just to fill up that board whenever you need to. Magneto changes the whole game, he's such a big 6 cost. Uh, heavy champion or character that can be played in any lane winning you the game there's no necessary lane you're trying to win in this uh, deck you're really just trying to push out as big as numbers as possible and then trying to uh, you, you can consistently win one lane only problem with this is usually your second lane is beatable so you need to kind of outperform your opponent in the terms of the brain plays or big brain brain plays and that's where Magneto shows up also Iron Man is another option you could steal games with that's why he's there but basically everything else is just giving you cards so you can push up this collector to big numbers and your devil dinosaur as well with, without further ado guys let's jump on to the next deck all right guys we have a movement deck here it's one of my funnest decks to play guys I love this deck so much what your goal is to do is you're trying to buff up this multiple man and multiple man is going to be able to win you the game. Multiple man, you buff him up once with the Hulk Buster, he becomes a six. You buff him up once with Forge, he becomes five. You buff him up with both, he becomes a eight, which eight translates into two, which is absolutely insane. It's very consistent. You can pull out another multiple man, uh, either with Hemdal or with the Doctor Strange. You can consistently push that out. Claw is there to fix those numbers for you. It's kind of iffy sometimes. To hit those big numbers clock and win two lanes at the same time winning center and right side so really you want to focus around those two lanes or left and center uh, you want to focus those two lanes but yeah forge is just there to pump up the multiple man there's another card you need instead of the wolf's bane what you're looking for is a vulture i don't have the vulture i couldn't find it yet it's a series two card but with the vulture the game changes so much uh, every time vulture moves you get plus six uh, power this deck just lifts up to another level it becomes a, one of the best pool 2 decks in the game with vulture but without vulture you're kind of stuck with this wolf's bane uh, cosmo is there just to defeat unrevealed decks unrevealed decks are really strong opponent to this deck that white tiger activating twice is huge so you plus the iron hands uh, iron heart so you kind of want to slow that down and that's how you slow it down and of course hamdal can just fix up your lanes change up the whole game and make the game a lot on play basically totally different to the opponent now this sucks against vultures or against other decks that gain a lot of movement from moving so you might want to switch your humdal to maybe a magneto later on but for now uh humdal is going to be consistent he's fine uh, we don't have any other movers anything else to move for us so we're going to keep it there there's another option there you can also choose Put in a vision. I don't like the vision. I don't think you need to put that much movement. I think Claw just gives you so much more value than vision. It gives you four more damage. And you really can move him in yourself. I mean, Claw, wherever you put, you're going to be thinking about where you want to put him anyways. Uh, so that's why we don't play vision. But he's a cool option. Also, Iron Man is just so good in this deck. But yeah, guys, that's the number two deck. Movement without the Vulture. Obviously, if you have Vulture, you just get rid of the Cosmo or the Wolves Bane. And you add the vulture. Besides that, you're just buffing up this multiple man with America Chavez, Forge, Hulkbuster, and trying to get the big numbers. You can also switch to Jessica Jones for a uh, Namor if you consistently keep lanes empty. Uh, I know a lot. It's kind of hard with multiple men moving around and Hamdal just pushing everything around. So we didn't use the Namor. But if you guys are able to, go ahead and keep that Namor 
in your play it's just such a good idea another amazing deck here guys that i love so much is the discard hero you have blade here the discards your rightmost card if it's not apocalypse don't worry guys you could just play the card because everything in your deck is so small uh, uh such small cards most of your cards uh, i would say over 75 percent of your deck is three or lower so you're gonna be able to play out all these cards still pushing out a huge number strong guys and nine by himself lady sif is just so good activating your apocalypse sword master is insane number by himself you really don't lose a lot no more this is a deck that actually does a very little movement so no more is actually very viable also you might want to invest into a claw if no more is a big idea for you but because we don't have the onslaught and we're forced to use the uh, apocalypse we don't necessarily need the claw here nakia can fix your hand as well uh, just those little bits of damage extra on the cards you need i know you're gonna discard your whole hand but giving that plus one or plus two to apocalypse or strong guy can really change the game strong guy becomes a 10 power by himself that's huge as long as you're not drawing cards you're happy guys so anything that drops cards you're gonna be happy with ant-man for example uh swarm is gonna be amazing you drop the whole hand down very quickly you want to wait till the end of the game to drop swarm you don't want to play him earlier than that uh but yeah guys the deck is so solid right now with these cards basically you got everything you want wolverine you can consistently pull them out uh, as long as he's the right side of your deck, you can really push out a 5 cost very quickly, 4 or 5 cost uh, with Naki and Wolverine. So this deck is pretty sustainable, very fun. Uh, it's a little bit hard to play, you need to figure out what to opponent wants to go against. Again, Also, when you get to Series 2, the opponent has cards that can totally shut down. Uh, I know there's a 5 cost that becomes a 1 cost with 9 power if you discard the card in the game so that basically shuts you down completely you can never catch up to that card but if, if that's not in the opponent's hand then you got a really strong game and you're probably gonna win the game moving on guys we got two more decks you're gonna love this next deck all right guys another amazing deck here odin free for me is gonna be an amazing deck uh it's one of the best decks in the format odin on reveal is probably better than the next deck i'm gonna show you guys but I just love the next deck, number one deck, so much so I put it on number one. But Odin himself is crazy, activates any on, on uh, activatable abilities. So as long as you have Iron Heart and White Tiger in one lane, you can activate them again, which pushes out 16 plus 6. Plus, so 12 plus 16 is 40 damage, 40 output, not to your current lane, to lanes around you. As long as you play these two cards and play an Odin. So you need the th turn three uh, and turn five and turn six, you're full. full. But what you want to do is turn one, two, and four. You want to fill up the rest of the board. So you have Ant-Man, you have Hawkeye, small characters that can fill up this uh, board really quickly, pushing out big numbers, even though they're tiny, still pushing out consistent numbers at four and five. Medusa's huge in the center. Agent 13 is just so broken that she's just perfect in every deck. Uh, Scarlet Witch, because you're going to be performing around the center, you want to fix that center lane. You don't want it to be a, uh, like a murder valley or something like that where all your cards are getting destroyed. So you want to fix those lanes. That's what Scarlet Witch is there for. You could also add, instead of the Scarlet Witch, for example, you could add a Colossus. If you're running through a lot of decks that are killing you, Colossus would be another option over or maybe added to the Scarlet Witch. We have a very small amount of two costs. Maybe you can get rid of a Hawkeye for a Colossus, but that's really your own uh, representation, guys. Uh, my Scarlet Witch fixes the locations that I don't like, and so I can push out bigger numbers with Hawkeye than Colossus, so I I'm not really worried about that. Also, you continue with Ironheart. Like I said, Ironheart into Jessica Jones on the lane that you're not gonna play. And then you white tiger wherever you just played the iron heart so what you really want to do is a perfect combo is medusa in the center iron heart first ant-man to the left medusa in the center iron heart in the center you give ant-man medusa some power then you want to play jessica jones on the right then you want to play white tiger on the center then you want to play odin again on the center and that's pretty much all you're going to do every single game and yeah Another thing you could do is just put Ant-Man in the center, then go for the Iron Heart, White Tiger, Odin, but uh, it's just better to have Medusa because Medusa becomes a 10 cost. Ant-Man is cool to have. You could still fill up that board with uh, if you drew a bunch of Hawkeyes or Asian, Asian 13s, 
But uh, yeah, the deck is insane, guys. You can push out insane amounts of numbers. Punisher is just a really solid three cost. We don't have anything better, so we keep it. But if you can find anything better, go ahead and choose that. But we really don't have anything anything better. And Iron Man there just to fix some lanes. If we didn't draw into the Odin and White Tiger, Iron Man is still huge. Just so so imbala imbalanced, that's for sure. But yeah, guys, interested in your opinions about this deck, and let's move on. I'm so excited to show you number one deck. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I'm so happy with this deck. This is my favorite deck in the game. The ongoing nightmare is absolutely insane. Now, guys, I'll give you guys a rundown of the cards that you don't really care for, and then I'll talk about all the cards that you want. Lizard is just one of the worst cards in the game, but what you want to do with Lizard is you want to play him on the left side, force the opponent to play all his cards on the left side, try to fill up the left side, because you're never going to play the left side. Your left side, you don't care about left side. What you're trying to do is you're trying to actually bait the opponent to play on the left side. So Lizard is bait. He's baiting you. You never play him on right or center. You want to play him only on left. So if you want to find a better card than that, go ahead. Be my guest. Find it. Ma Ma Mr. Fantastic is another card. You rarely ever want to play him. He's just there because there's no better three cost. If you can find a better three cost, go for it. But besides that, all the other cards are insane. Let's go through them. Ant-Man is broken anywhere he goes in the center. You want to play him in the center always. Always, always, always we want to play him in the center. Agent 13, you always want to play her to the left. Always, always, always you want to play her to the left. So if you draw Ant-Man, you play him in the center. Agent 13, you play her to the left. Because the left side, you don't want to win. You just want to gain that card from Agent 13 to see if it'll give you value or not. Medusa is broken in the center. You want to play her in the center. Scarlet Witch fixes your center and your left sides. It never ever touches the right side because the right side is stuck with Namor. Namor is the only player that can be on the right side. You don't want to play anything. But you want to still control center. So if the center lane is broken, like it's a bad location, you want to utilize Scarlet Witch to fix that location. If you cannot play any cards in the center, you want to fix that. Of course, we talked about these two cards, Lizard and uh, Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic, now let's move on Captain America. Broken in the center. If you could play this in the center with Ant-Man, you just won the game because this is what happens. Ant-Man into iron man into captain america or punisher whichever or though both of them are insane both of them give you basically the same number uh captain america is two plus six uh punisher three plus four so two plus six is eight three plus four is seven so they're very close to one another very 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 close um so they're basically the same card and they both whenever you, you double them up with onslaught basically they give you the same numbers uh, so it's very very similar to one another so they're very good both of them you want to put them in the center so Ant-Man is in the center Captain America or Punisher is in the center now more is to the right he by himself gives 11 Iron Man is just in case you need it you really never ever want to use it Claw goes to the center Claw sits in the center pushes 8 damage to the right side and uh, fixes the center then Onslaught comes over Gives another 8 to the side, gets 11 with the claw, then gives another plus 4, and another plus 4 to the Ant-Man. Basically winning center and winning the right side completely with the 16 plus 11 is going to be 27 damage. On the right side, it's going to be 11 plus 7 plus 4, which is another 11, so 22 already, plus another 10, so 32 in the center, 27 in the side, right lane. And your left lane where you baited the opponent to play all his cards there with the lizard it's absolutely maniacal this is how i got to my number one infinite rank guys that's it that's it right there i don't even know what's happening outside somebody's yelling but guys i'm really interested in your opinions what do you think about all these decks what do you think in general about the game I'm finally rank 100 now. I'm already losing games because I'm series two and series three are so tough to play against. I'm ranked 27th now, 27,000. But uh, yeah, guys, the game is so much fun. Interested in your opinions. Which deck would you like to play the most? And besides that, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.